Okay, today we're going to look at some inverting amplifier simulations. And here's a little inverting voltage amplifier that I have with a 741. A couple of resistors here, a 100 millivolt, 1 kilohertz sine wave source. Some preliminary calculations. RF over RI is 50K over 10K for an inverting gain of minus 5. With a 100 millivolt input, we should have 500 millivolt peak output signal inverted. So let's go take a look at what we get. Do a transient analysis here. Zero to two milliseconds, so we'll see two cycles of the input waveform. And here we go. All right, so our input waveform is this maroon waveform, and you can see that's just about 100 millivolts. And the greenish trace is the V load signal, right? And that is in fact right at 500 millivolts, as we'd expect. The inversion is obvious, hopefully. Okay, what if we change op amps, right? So let's go in here and we'll change the op amp to an 081, which is a bifet op amp, JFET differential amplifier, and we'll rerun this. And you can see the only slight difference here is a little DC offset, which is just, uh, as we'll see in a future video, uh, this particular op amp has a little bit uh, worse DC offset performance than the 741 does. But the important thing is we do end up, if you look at this from peak to peak, we do still end up with that 500 millivolt signal and the inversion. All right. Okay, let's uh, turn this back into our... 741. And now what about our gain? So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to adjust this resistor. So now this gain should be 10 times as high, right? 50K over 5K um, for a gain of 10, excuse me, not 10 times as high, but a gain of 10, uh, twice as high as it was before. And we'll give a run on that one. And there you go. There's your one volt instead of half a volt. Still have the inversion. Everything's looking great. Okay. Beauty. Now, one last thing. We have talked about in the, in the text um, the fact that negative feedback should decrease distortion, total harmonic distortion. And the more feedback we have, the greater that reduction is. So let's go back to the original circuit here. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the distortion off of this circuit. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to repeat for convenience the, the transient analysis that we had. And I will select our output waveform. And then I'm going to do the Fourier series from the process menu. This will allow us to do the uh, distortion analysis. And you can see, I'll open this, you can see all of the harmonics, but the important thing down here is the total harmonic distortion. So we've added up all of the harmonics and it's just under 0.05% THD, right? So just a smidge less than half of a tenth of a percent, right? 0 .0, nearly 0 0.05, right? 0 0.04825. Okay, now I'll come in, I'm going to decrease the total amount of, of uh, negative feedback by decreasing this resistor. In other words, because the gain is high, the feedback is a little bit less. Now I don't want to just run this up as is, because if I leave the input where it is, the output's going to be twice as high because I've got twice as much gain. And on amplifiers like this, generally speaking, the distortion goes up as the output goes up. So to be fair about it, I'm going to come back and uh, change my sine wave's amplitude from this 100 millivolts to 50 millivolts. And the reason is I want to keep that output again at around half a volt peak. All right, so you double the gain, you have the input. We should be back around where we should, you know, started. Okay, so now let's redo the transient. 
Okay, you can see that output waveform basically stayed right where it was, and it just appears as though the input got half the size. Okay, now select it. Let's go and do our Fourier series distortion analysis. And there you go, 0 0.092. So we were at 0 0.048 before, and that ratio is held. We cut the uh, feedback in half, so the gain doubled, and as a result, half the feedback gives us twice the distortion. Okay, and we could keep playing with this. Uh, the more gain we get, the less feedback we have, and therefore, the more distortion we're going to get. Beauty! Okay, that pretty much covers it. Next time.